Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So just like I mentioned, we're going to be working now with skill number one, focus on the last line. This is for the listening. So it says here, the short dialogue involve or the short dialogues involve conversations between two people, like we mentioned, each followed by a question. It is important to understand that the answer to this type of question is most often, but not always, found in the last line of the conversation. So the strategy is focus on the last line. That means focus on the second person. What you can do here is repeat in your mind what the second person says, right? So you hear, for example, let's read this right here. The man says, Billy really made a big mistake this time. The woman says, yes, he forgot to turn in his research paper. What does the woman say about Billy? It was the first time he made a mistake. He forgot to write his paper. He turned in the paper in the wrong place or he didn't remember to submit his assignment. And this one would be D says the last line of this dialogue indicates that Billy forgot to turn in his research paper. And this means he didn't remember to submit it. Be very, very um, aware and attentive and notice how they use different words to say the same thing. Forget, didn't remember. Submit, turn in. His assignment his research paper, right? Nada que ver with uh, paper, like right here in uh, option uh, B, right? Or uh, where else? There's um, time over here and, and they use time over here, right? Like they use paper or they use paper over here and they actually use turn in over here, like they use turn in. No, 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 no. We are looking for different, right? The different answer is most likely the correct one, right? The one that has no similar sounds. Okay, so strategy, focus on the last line because the last line is the most important one, right? It's the one that will probably have the answer. And we're going to read the strategy, which is focus on the last line before we continue with the exercise. So here it says, first, the last line of the dialogue probably contains the answer to the question then listen to the first line of the dialogue. Yes, if you understand it, that's good. If you don't understand it, don't worry because it probably doesn't contain the answer. And finally, be ready to focus on the last line of the dialogue because it probably contains the answer. Repeat the last line in your mind. This is very important as you read through the answers in the text, right? So if we go back to the example, um, up here, we would be repeating, yes, he forgot to turn in his research paper. Yes, he forgot to turn in his research paper. Yes, he forgot to turn in his research paper, right? While we read the, the possible answers, A, B, C, or D, this will help us to not forget what we heard, right? Because sometimes we, you people will say, ah, oh, I, I didn't understand. I didn't know. So just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. This is actually a good tactic to use also when you're talking to somebody and maybe you got distracted with your thoughts, with a dog, with something, and you're like, what, 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 what did you say? Instead of asking, what did you say? Repeat the last thing you heard, right? And think about it and then you will. Well, that's for conversation, right? But in this case, it's going to work for the TOEFL. Okay, so we're going to do some exercises first before we go to the... Um, audio. I have an audio that I'm going to play for you. Okay. So here, uh, the instructions say in this exercise, you should focus on the last line of the dialogue, read the questions, and then choose the best answer to that question. Remember that you probably, remember that you can probably answer the question easily uh, with only the last line, right? So this exercise, you're going to do it right now. I'm going to put it here on the screen. What you need to do is read the read the dialogues that are on this part right here, right? And then choose the correct answer over here, either A, B, C, or D, A, B, C, or D, or A, B, C, or D, right, for each one. So you can do that right now. Go ahead. 
and in a moment we will check it. Okay, ready? If you're not finished, pause the video, please, so you can complete this because we are now going to check it. Okay, so here in number one, this person says, I have no idea. So the correct answer for here is going to be D, right? She does not know, which is the same idea. Um, she does not know, I have no idea, right? Then in number two, the man says, I rang the bell, but no one answered. So in this case, the correct answer, I'm going to look over here because I have the answers over here. So we're not, uh, so we're not incorrect. So it's going to be B, right? B boy B, the house was probably empty. Okay, and now number three, the man says, I think it's highly unlikely that I got the job. So the correct answer for three is going to be C. The interview was apparently quite unsuccessful, right? Look at the vocabulary that they use, right? Over here, highly unlikely, right? Altamente improbable, right? So probably not. And here, apparently quite unsuccessful, right? The apparently here is like the unlikely, okay? So if you have any questions on this exercise, leave it in the comments. Next, we're going to practice a real TOEFL exercise. TOEFL exercise number one with the audio. Okay, ready? We are on TOEFL exercise one. It says, in this exercise, listen carefully to each short dialogue and question on the recording, then choose the best answer to the question. You should focus carefully on the last line. Um, th they are, we have 10 exercises right here, right? I'm going to play the audio and uh, you're going to do the exercises, write them down on a piece of paper or something. It's either A, B, C, or D. So go number one, A, B, C, or D. Number two, A, B, C, or D, right? And when we get to number nine, I'm going to bring it down so you can see the possible answers, okay? Ready? I'm playing an audio from YouTube, okay? TOEFL exercise one. In this exercise, Listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording, and then choose the best answer to the question. You should focus carefully on the second line. Number one. How soon will you be leaving? I'm on my way now. What does the man mean? Number two. Was Steve able to get into the house? I left the door unlocked for him. What does the woman assume Steve did? Number three. The dinner special is roast turkey with mashed potatoes and gravy and apple pie for dessert. That doesn't sound good to me. What does the woman mean? Number four. Could you help me with my physics homework tonight? I'm really having trouble with it. Sorry, I'm busy tonight. What does the man imply? Number five. What did you think of Professor Martin's lecture on the migratory habits of whales? I couldn't keep my eyes open. What does the woman mean? Number six. Have this month's bills been paid, or is that something we need to take care of now? I paid the phone and electricity, but not the credit cards. What does the man mean? Number seven. Will you be able to get back from running all your errands by four o'clock? 
I'll be back as quickly as I can. What does the woman say that she'll do? Number 8. Have you seen Tim? I really need to talk with him about the phone bill. Well, he was here just a minute ago. What does the woman say about Tim? Number 9. There's a car parked in my spot even though the sign says that this space is reserved. I guess we'll have to park somewhere else. What does the woman mean? Number 10. Do we have enough food for all the guests who are attending the reception this evening? The refrigerator's about to burst. What does the man mean? TOEFL Exercise 2 Okay, let's check them. I'm going to give you the answer and you can check off if they're correct or if they're incorrect, put the correct word. In number one, we have A, he is leaving now. Number two, we have C, he was unable to open the door. Number three, we have D, she'd prefer a different dinner, right? Number four, we have B, he can't help her tonight. Number five, we have C, the class was boring, right? She couldn't keep her eyes open. Number six, we have A, not all the bills have been paid. Number seven, we have D, she'll try to run faster. Number eight, we have C, Tim was around a short time ago, okay? If you have any questions on any of these, put it in the comments so I can check them and help you out. We are going to now check number nine and number 10, and then we'll finish. Okay, number nine is D, they can't park there. And number 10 is A, there's plenty to eat. The refrigerator is about to burst, means that it's about to explode, reventar, right? So there's plenty to eat. Okay, well, that's all for this class. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you stayed until the end of the video, thank you. And next listening class, we're going to look at skill number two, choose answers with synonyms. But next video, we are going to look at skill number one of the structure section or the grammar section. Okay, so I will see you next video. Have a good day. Bye.